Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're on Facebook Live here at Elderly Instruments. My name is Stan Werbin. I've been the owner here for 45 years. <laughs> this is my daughter, Lillian. Okay. Uh, she's been working here for about three years or so. A little over, yeah. And uh, we're, we're, I guess we're here just to talk a little bit about our anniversary. Literally, today is our 45th anniversary. And I may say that again later because I don't, a lot of people, it takes a little while till they, they get in uh, uh, and click on the, the, the message that, that, that we're here. So, uh, but this is our 45th anniversary today. July 5th, 1972 was the year that Elderly Instruments, was the day that Elderly Instruments first opened. Uh, we had a very little uh, 8 by 10 store in East Lansing, Michigan. We are now in a, uh, a much larger building here uh, over in, uh, in uh, Old Town part of uh, Lansing, of course, still in Michigan here. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're just here to say hi and, and maybe tell you a little bit about, uh, folks want me to tell them about, <laughs> about uh, how we got started. And, and uh, uh, what basically happened is uh, uh, I was uh, with, with, with my partner, Sharon Burton, at that time. We, oh, Sharon McIntorf was her name, sorry. Uh, we, uh, we uh, started sort of buying and selling used and vintage instruments. Uh, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, where we had both gotten finished up our schooling and uh, kind of looking around, kind of going and doing a lot of this, looking around, thinking, well, what do we do now? You know, now that, now that we've got our degrees, we don't want to do that. We don't want to work, work in our area of, of, of uh, so-called expertise. Uh, Typical. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was, uh, many of you uh, will probably know what I'm talking about, but in those days, uh, you know, going and, and doing what was the obvious next thing is not necessarily what one did. Uh, and that's, of course, true nowadays, fortunately, too. But um, anyway, so we, we started looking around for old, old instruments. We, uh, we took, a, took a lot of, bunch of ads in the penny saver newspapers around Michigan, and we would drive around Michigan. People would answer. They'd send us letters back. This is pretty, pretty old school, let me tell you. But they would send us a letter and say, I saw your ad in the penny saver, uh, and here I am 200 miles from you, and I've got this Martin guitar, or I've got this national guitar, or I've got this harmony guitar, uh, or, you know, no matter what it was, we would usually follow up on it, and we would, we would, uh, I can't even remember if we called them before we showed up, or if we just went there. I think we must have called them, or maybe we wrote back, uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> made an appointment to go see their instruments, and, uh, you know, we did the best we could in terms of, of buying some things from them, and then, then of course, we, we had uh, the the, the problem of having of trying to sell them because the whole idea was to buy them and then sell them at a profit and uh, you know honestly we didn't know a whole lot about how to do that we didn't have a store we just worked out of out of our apartment and uh, and uh, we knew a bunch of musicians around town and we thought well that's a pretty good way we can at least let everybody we know know that hey we've got uh, an old Gibson banjo or we've got an old Martin guitar uh, and they weren't even that old at that time. <laughs> They're a lot older now. Um, but uh, so, so we, you know, we did the best we could, and, and uh, we wound up getting some instruments, selling some of them, and uh, then kind of, I guess, hitting a brick wall. We, 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 uh, we, we kind of got to the point where we would kind of exhausted all our friendships with people, <laughs> people who knew us and, and, and liked us well enough to look at the merchandise that we had. To, uh, to sell or who were interested in such a thing um, and uh, and we wound up uh, actually meeting somebody from Lansing uh, a fellow named Ray Walsh who still has a very wonderful uh, old style bookstore called the curious books in in East Lansing and he is still there and he he we met him in, in Ann Arbor at a at kind of a flea market that we exhibited at and uh, and he did too and uh, and he looked at our stuff and he said you guys you that's kind of cool stuff there because he had vintage books he was so he was into old things and we were into old things and there weren't too many people at this flea market so we had a lot of time to chat and uh, and what he said to us is he said hey uh, have you guys ever thought about opening up a store and we said, yeah, we actually have, but we had, we had given up the idea of doing it in Ann Arbor because at the time, I think we counted nine or ten um, music stores in Ann Arbor, and, and uh, we were at that time at least kind of focused on, 
on acoustic uh, used instruments. And there were already two stores that's kind of specialized uh, in that sort of thing. And we thought, well, this is not a good place for us to open up. And we thought about places where we could move, but you know, moving is a big deal. So, so we didn't do it. And then, and then we met Ray and he said, you know, there's a place opening up right across the hallway from where my shop is. And, um, and I, think, uh, I think you guys could do well there. We said, well, Let's go look at it. Well, we'd never been, well, Sharon had been to, to, to East Lansing before, but I had never been. And so we went up there and we looked around and, you know, we, we made, we, we looked at the, at the space. And we said, well, you know, this would be a very small space because ultimately we were going to have to rent kind of the corner of, a, of an already existing business and uh, where they would uh, essentially allow us to build some walls and, 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 and partition off part of their store, and it would be our store. And um, we, so we saw that, and we said, well, okay, that's big enough for our inventory, because we only had maybe 20 or 30 instruments. And, and, um, and then we, uh, uh, we, we had to actually, uh, we looked around town, and we, we said, well, you know, uh, it, does anybody want to buy instruments here? We figured they must, because it was a college town, and, in 1972, and, and, um, and ultimately people, uh, we, we looked around and we, we kind of just walked around town for maybe an hour or two and we saw, I don't know, we saw three or four people with guitar cases and we thought, well, okay, you know, there's some cu potential customers, some somebody out here, you know, is going to at least have some interest in what we have. Uh, and we said, what the heck, let's go for it. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, our rent was $60 a month. <laughs> and uh, we, we borrowed a car. We had a car. We had a little Volkswagen convertible. Um, uh, and, and that wasn't big enough to transport our 20 or 30 instruments uh, along with our meager belongings. And, and so we, uh, we borrowed a, the, a friend's car to, to drive up there once or twice and transport everything we had. Found a place to live. and. Uh, and uh, put up a couple of walls and created some some flyers to post around town. And you know, two weeks after we got there, we were open for business. And basically, that's the story of how we opened. <laughs> um, the first day, I can tell you that that um, I think we you know we sat there for whatever it was, eight hours or so. I, I'm not sure what the hours were. Probably ten to six or eleven to seven or something like that. And uh, and we sold a thumb pick. And I'm not even sure where we got the thumb picks <laughs> at that time because we didn't really have any connections for new merchandise. But somehow, I guess we had some kind of connections. And, and uh, we sold a thumb pick the first day and I think a set of strings the next day. And, uh, but after a while, people, more people started coming in. And they, before you knew it, we were selling a few of the instruments we had. We were buying a few others. We were taking trades. It was kind of the model for kind of what we do today in a way. Uh, and, uh, and again, that was a literally it was a 10 by 12 room that we were in. Uh, our cash our cash register was a little leather pouch that we had, <laughs> where we would put whatever whatever, uh, and we were it was American dollars too. We we uh, we whatever money came in would go in there, little... right? <laughs> and uh, and that's kind of you know basically that's the story of the beginnings of elderly instruments. Um, Why don't you tell them how you got the name? Well, we got the name. Okay, well, that, that happened in Ann Arbor. Uh, when we first started, we said, well, you know, we, we should call ourselves something. And we thought, but, but what was the question? And, and uh, we didn't really know. We didn't know what to call ourselves. And, and uh, we started, started seeing, uh, I'm not even sure how we found these things, but, but there were some, you know, there were, there, was, there were ads. Well, there were ads in, like, Bluegrass Unlimited magazine of, of people who were selling used to vintage instruments. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of cool places out there. There was, there was vintage, uh, vintage instruments, and there was uh, Mandolin Brothers had already started at that time, and uh, uh, GTR, uh, which has morphed into Gruen Guitars, our friends down in Nashville. Uh, well, all these folks are our friends now. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, but, but we looked and said, well, you know, we need, we need a unique name. And, and we kind of pondered on it for a while. And, and eventually we, uh, 
we were we were you know, sort of doing the other side of our business. We were looking for instruments, and and we looked in the Ann Arbor. What's the name of the main paper in Ann Arbor now? Sun? No, it's the Ann Arbor News. Was the was the college paper, and then the city paper is the uh, you know somebody will tell us there. <laughs> uh, please post it so we know. And and uh, anyway, uh, we saw an ad, a classified ad. Uh, where somebody was talking about selling, I have. They said I have a nice, uh, I have a Gibson Les Paul guitar uh, for sale, and they said how much it was, and I don't remember how much that was, but but uh, they ended ended the ad by saying a nice uh, elderly instrument, and we looked at that and said, you know, maybe we can't afford this guitar, but <laughs> but the name we like, and we can just steal that, and so we did. Uh, and we called ourselves Elderly Instruments ever since, um, and uh, that's how we got the name, dear. It's a good story. It's one yes. of my favorites. All right, <laughs> all right. You should have told it then. Uh, it's yeah. better from his mouth. Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, um, you know, I, I guess I thought we might. You know, we're gonna we're gonna be talking soon about uh, today's today's the so today's the 45th anniversary of the store. Um, I said I would repeat that again for the for the late comers, uh, and uh, uh, we're actually having a drawing today. Is it a few? We're having a few different drawings yeah. today uh, in the store, yeah. uh, but it's for in-store customers only, yep, right? Yep. So today our in-store special is we're giving away a Farida guitar, um, and so if you come in, you don't need to buy anything, but you can enter our drawing, and we will draw probably tomorrow and announce it. But Every hour, we're giving away elderly swag. Elderly swag. Elderly swag. So shirts, hats, pick boxes, anything that the musician might need. Okay, no wheelchairs or. No, or, no wheelchairs okay. or walkers for the okay. elderly folks. Okay, okay, all right. That. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of looking for one of those right now. Uh, no, not yet, okay, not yet. okay, fine. Um, anyway. Um, so that's what we're doing today, but that doesn't help a lot of you people out in Facebook land there. Um, however, we're, we're starting a new drawing today, uh, and that is for a Martin guitar. A Martin, do we know what, what model that it's is, folks? It's a D15SP. S is in Sam, P is in Paul. Okay, and you can you can look that up on our website, mm -hmm. which of course is www.elderly.com. <laughs> there should be a link in the in this post. <laughs> yeah, there should. Hopefully, there will be. Um, and uh, but anyway, that's the guitar we're going to give away. It's uh, what do we sell it for? About sixteen hundred dollars, something Just like about. that. Uh, it's actually a very nice, uh, a nice instrument. new Martin guitar, lifetime warranty, and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, so, how do you enter that, Lily? What are we doing here? You gotta like our page, like the big elderly Facebook page, and then comment not on this video, but on the next post explaining the Martin giveaway. And you will automatically be entered in the running, and we will pull a name at the end of the month. So August 1st, I believe, is when we will announce our winner on another Facebook Live. And do they have to comment? I think they have to I, comment. Is that true? They can't just like the page? I don't think so. I, I'm not sure I, I remember that. We'll look post the it. Details. Yeah, look at the details. We, you know, we, we, this has all been recently figured out, and uh, we couldn't uh, help ourselves. We wanted to give something for you. She's probably right because I am the most elderly one of the crowd here. So, <laughs> um, but uh, but I, I thought I had it right, but um, probably not. Young minds, old minds. Yeah, they, you know, sometimes <laughs> they they think differently. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, do you want to take? A, should we take a quick a quick look around the showroom here? Um, bearing in mind that we started uh, we started the store, uh, it was ten by twelve. We now have about thirty six thirty six thousand square feet total. Roughly. If you count our barn in the back and the parking uh, lot, and the oh, no, you don't count the parking <laughs> don't lot. Park no, no. Uh, but we have our own parking lot, which, <laughs> is, which is a big step up from our original location. <laughs> Um, anyway, we'll just take a quick, we'll, we'll do a quick tour of the showroom. How about that? Does anybody out there want that? I don't know. We're going to do it anyway. Okay, we're going to do it anyway because, <laughs> I don't know, I guess we're in charge here. So so here we are. We're in the banjo section right here. Uh, we've got a lot of banjos. Open uh, back. 
Yeah. Resonator. A few and a few uh, dulcimers and auto, auto hearts. hearts over in that corner. Uh, behind us, we've got uh, things like books, books and CDs, and and uh, you know I know that all that stuff is is all digital nowadays, but it's not <laughs> completely all digital, and we have and we offer we, them both ways. We we actually do offer them both ways, and so if we move on this way, we come to the. The, uh, the instrument of the 21st century over here, the we have ukulele. ukuleles uh, by the by the dozen, uh, and uh, along with a couple other small ones and barons over there, and, and uh, gosh, we've got uh, uh, washboards yeah. over there too, um, and more more use more over use. here. Uh, we're kind of in, in, in process of rearranging some things here, so I don't know, the, the walls look sparse to me, uh, <laughs> but I promise you we're not having a going out of business sale. So, no, it's a birthday uh, sale. This is a birthday. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe people would just strip the walls. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Um, and down here we've got uh, a number of like classical guitars and, uh, and some larger size ukuleles. Uh, no, these are, these are, are parlor guitars. Yeah. Little guitars. Of various sorts, and I think they're the six string you Yeah. Um, and uh, Man, here we have happy customers over here. We hope they're happy. <laughs> the happiest. All right, the happiest customers. <laughs> um, and uh, there's the original sign that we had outside this building uh, till about I don't know till the early '90s, maybe 90s. something like that. Um, and we've we've redesigned the logo since then, as you might know. Uh, but uh, and we've got there's a, an Irish harp there. We've got a big load of mandolins here. Uh, it's kind of I kind of like that wall because it just looks so cool. Too many mandolins, but not too many. And I just don't know right if one. we've told you today, but our full inventory couldn't possibly fit on our sales floor. That's true. So if you don't see what you're looking for. Ask someone That's and we'll find it. Exactly true, and it's all it's all here, uh, in, in in on the premises, just stored away. Uh, here we've got resonator guitars and Hawaiian guitars right there, um, right right below the uh, the national guitars clock. <laughs> I like stuff like that. What can I say? And uh, what is this stuff here? These are, are uh, acoustic basses and and more resonator instruments. So. Um, and oh, we have like toys over here. Kids, we have, kids instruments. Yeah, kids instruments. Uh, although you can never would, start them too young. What someone would argue that that these, you know, kazoo's are actual real instruments. <laughs> well, we'll let you guys argue about that out in Facebook land. I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, so so we, and there's here's jaw harps and nose flutes. Oh, you gotta have. Uh, what are the what are, what are these called again? The the nose flute is actually what's the word for nose flutes? Um, there used to we used to know this. Uh, I do know this. It's a. Um, <laughs> I actually do know this. I used to know this. Anyway, someone else will tell us because uh, the people in Facebook land know everything. I'm sure of that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so these nose flutes, which you can actually play through your nose. And, and people actually do that, so uh, they're pretty cool. And they come in, used to be they, they only came in red, now they seem to come in blue and purple and orange. I mean, it's like, that's pretty cool. Um, if you're into nose flutes. Uh, so moving on along here, uh, if, uh, you know, we shouldn't talk politics, but you know, we're, we're, we think you should vote for Roy Acuff for governor if you have a chance this year, so. Um, and we're moving sort of into the main area of the showroom here. Um, uh, we've got oh, we've got a wall full of something you never see in the in the Facebook videos. We have a wall full of magazines for sale of, of various sorts. Um, and starter instruments. And well, this is, these are not all starter instruments. No, are these? We have a, a very high-end, expensive, uh, unusual, unusual Martin guitar here. Uh, it, well, it, it, it seems to be a reduced price, but we, we can't talk about that uh, on, Facebook. on Facebook. So let's just say that, that you could call us if you want. And what else? And we, so again, these are like starter kits, some of these are. Some of them are. The ones with these. No, that's not a starter. No, these are all reduced price. Never mind, price. these are just reduced price things. <laughs> Store uh, features. 
And uh, where are we going? Here we go to hollow body electrics, at least some of them. Uh, we got Gretches, we got D'Angelico's, we got uh, uh, Gretches, we got D'Angelico's. Eastman, oh, Eastman's, okay. Gill. Yeah. All very cool guitars and, and uh, just the thing you need for your, your Chuck Berry uh, 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 gig. <laughs> so, moving along here. Uh, more hollow body electrics here. Uh, and then, just to switch things around completely, we can walk into the fiddle room. <laughs> or the violin room, as some would call it. Which is acoustically quite wonderful in here. I must say, we have a lot of. Uh, I don't know if the sound, if it sounds different to you out there, but to us in here, you walk into here and there's all this, this old violin wood reverberating, mm -hmm. and and speaking back to us. So, uh, I would pretty much. We have a few newish violins, but they're mostly just old violins, uh, and uh, they're set up to play, and and they're good instruments, and and uh, we sell a lot of fiddles actually. Yeah. So. Uh, so moving along, and here's, oh yeah, does anybody know what this is? Let's see. It's an A440 note that came off a workbench in the Gibson factory in 1984 or so when they had their auction and they moved everything to Nashville and they auctioned off what was left of the Gibson merchandise in the building. That building is still there, the Heritage Guitar Company uh, currently occupies it, so it's, it's nice to have that historic building still here in Michigan. We'll do this one more time. A true A440. There you go. Pretty exciting, I know. So, we're trying to make this quick, so uh, I don't know how boring this is for people in Facebook land, but, but uh, we're doing the best we can. Here we're, we're kind of into the flat top guitars area, uh, various, all different kinds of things, guilds, seagulls, uh, Angelicos. Uh, what else we got here? Got Blue Ridge. What does that say? We have Gretsch acoustics and uh, Blue Ridges, lots of great Blue Ridge guitars, mm -hmm. uh, recording kings, uh, burritos, um, Eastman. Eastman, Bristol. You name it, if it's good, we hope we have it. Uh, I'm sure there are other good things too, but, but we, we do our best to you know, pick and choose amongst the best so yeah. that uh, we've always got high quality, good stuff at a, at a fair price for you. So uh, we can walk into this room here, and it's another room that kind of reverberates with sound mm -hmm. just because there's so many really good sounding guitars on the walls and it just kind of bounces back and forth. We've got lots of, uh, what do we have here? Collings, Collings. Waterloo. Keep going, Lil. All right, Bishop, let me think. Cousin Dalton, Bedell, a few Gibsons used. Yeah. Bourgeois, let me think. Okay. Obviously, our Martins are in this room. Lots of Martins and Lots of Martins and Taylor. Taylors, yeah. S, uh, uh, a lot of great acoustic guitars Sarah in this room. Cruz. And again, you know, we and they're not all in here. Uh, because we really don't have room on the showroom for everything. Mm -hmm. But they're all on our website at, should I say, www.elderly.com? I said Shameless it better this time, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and just again, you know, like uh, a lot of cream of the crop kind of guitars in here. So we're very happy to have them. And, uh, Did we mention that when you visit, you can play anything without asking? Well, that's true. That's true. It's if worth you, mentioning. If you seem like you're a little deranged, however, we might talk to you. <laughs> so, so don't bring your deranged personality in here. Just bring your regular personality, and uh, we'll all have a good time. Um, so moving on out of here. Uh, acoustic electric? Oh, yeah. We, we have, let's go to our acoustic electric room here, uh, which, of course, isn't all our acoustic electrics, but it's kind of the dedicated spot. If you come right in here. <laughs> you did not say <laughs> And so besides a lot of acoustic electrics uh, in here, we have uh, acoustic amps, mm -hmm. a lot of them. I mean, uh, so you can, you can try out the acoustic electrics in here or any other part of the store. You can come in here, try these acoustic amps, um, and, uh, and see what it's going to sound like through them. So it's all good stuff. Uh, we like that. We got... Uh, you know more of those same brands here. We also have. I see we have Faith guitars here. Rain song. And rain song and uh, and, and uh, Sigma guitars as well. 
Yeah, and uh, um, Blackbird guitars, which oh, are super yeah. cool. Look at these things. I mean, <laughs> I love these guitars. They yeah, look they great. Cool. They sound really good. Uh, I would start playing them for you, but I would it would take me all day to get through them all. So I'm not going to play much here. But uh, <laughs> nevertheless, very cool guitars, worth a look. They're all worth a look. Um, and let's move on out of here. Alrighty. And uh, some electrics. Well, we we this is a few. You know, kind of <laughs> are these. Yeah, we got we got you know a, a ton of a ton of Strats and Tellys from Fender. Uh, left-handed, right-handed. Here's the left. -handed. A bunch of left-handed things yep. right here. Um, and uh, you know, new and used. Just and more of them here. And so here we are. I mean, need harmonicas? We got harmonicas. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, we just, in fact, just last week. Well, we should look at my T-shirt here and say, okay, just last week we did uh, Midwest Uke and Harmonica Camp down in Olivet, Michigan, and, and we had a great time with, with, believe it or not, the combination of ukuleles and harmonicas. Some would laugh. Some would say, but those are all teeny little instruments. But they're all really cool instruments. So, so, but so, are, so is everything else. So anyway, here's, here's a bunch of our harmonicas, guitar straps and other kinds of straps, accessories, by the boatload. Here's Joel right here. <laughs> Rice and vegetables. Yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, look at that. We moved that up there. That looks good. <laughs> it does. It looks good. Okay. Uh, so that hasn't been here the whole time. Oh no, that used to be in the other room. Okay, because I uh, thought I was going crazy. I thought no. at one time there was no TV here, and then yep. AJ was messing with me. Right, it? right. Well, that you so watch out for AJ. Yeah, he's, he's in trouble. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so anyway, here we are. We've sort of made it through the main room of the showroom, uh, we'd and, show and, all, and most of it's subrooms. We'd show you the amp electric, but we don't think the the sound will work very well in there. Is that so. true? Let's just get a look at it real quick. <laughs> I mean, I mean, here we've got a bunch of PRSs and more Fenders and a bunch of used Gibsons and uh, Squires. And A bunch of amps. All sorts in here. So, and amps, and it's kind of a nice. Uh, it's a, it's a well uh, padded room. So it, uh, uh, it fortunately, it, it, you know, we we can isolate the sound fairly well in this room from the rest of the showroom, which is always a good thing. What the heck is that? I haven't seen this. Woody? Look, yeah, this Woody bass. I mean, what? A, I mean, I don't know. I guess I heard we had this, but and it looks pretty wild, is all I can tell you. And okay, so you're wondering how much this is, folks. Everybody always wants to know. It's eleven hundred eighty-five dollars, and it's a Jared Kurtioff. Oh yeah. Is the name on it? Okay. So it's. I guess it's a Woody model, or Woody was the guy who it was made for. So what a. What a crazy looking thing. <laughs> anyway, okay. And it's a five string too. Want to finish off with Farida? Sure. Uh, and we wanted to thank Diet Coke for uh, for their sponsorship of this segment of our Facebook Live. <laughs> and of course, this is what's called product placement. Uh, this so, is so this is also product placement. We, we've, we've, uh, uh, for for the last year or or less than a year, really, we've been uh, importing our own design uh, line of guitars that we've designed uh, under the Farida name, and um, uh, they're just really great guitars. They they sell for between three seventy nine and about nine hundred dollars or so. And uh, right now they only come in one size. We'll soon have them in a, in a slope shouldered model. And uh, again, it's just they're they're very great guitars. Uh, do I want to? Uh, I'll have to put that in my product placement. <laughs> Get some new ones. Get a new one. And uh, so let's see, what do we have here? So this is this looks like a 111 sixteenth 
So this is a solid mahogany back and side, solid top uh, guitar with a 111/16th inch nut width. But and it sells for because every, again everybody always asks these things. This sells for six sixty nine. Uh, oops, before I drop it, we don't want to do this. You know, it's a very nice guitar for the money, um, and really for almost anything. So, uh, uh, and and at this time, it's it's exclusively available here at Elderly Instruments. Uh, we're actually hoping very soon, within the next couple of months, to be selling it to other stores as well. So, uh, tell your local dealers about that and have them contact us. Um, and they come in natural finish. Or we should just take a quick look at the sunburst finish ones. Here's one. I got and this is this is a rosewood back and sides one um, with this beautiful sunburst on it. Um, and it's also this is solid rosewood, I think. What do we got here? Yeah, this one's $8.99. Um, and uh, sounds better than the than the cheaper ones. Uh, uh, but they all play great, look great, feel great, and sound great in their own way. So uh, that's all we'll have to say about those. And uh, let's see. Real quickly, I'll tell you what. Let's let's take a walk down to the repair shop, and then we'll we'll finish it up there. We have, by the way, on the way down the stairs now, you can see a reproduction of our of our mural from out front of our store, which we're very proud of. Uh, we put it up about two years ago. It's about 40 feet. 40 feet, 60 40 by feet, nine feet, 40 feet long, nine feet tall, something like, something like that, it's and uh, large. and it's all hand painted and uh, and we love it. So uh, you can see it in person, or you can see it on our various pages of various so. And so here we are in the lobby of the repair shop, and I don't think we're going to go in there because it's just a bunch of guys working. And it'll bother them. It will just annoy them. Uh, no, it won't really. But but uh, they'll be okay about it either way. But but I think uh, if if you look at some of our other Facebook lives, you'll see a bunch of uh, of uh, repair 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 live kind of videos that that uh, where people that, you know the guys the guys in the shop talk a little bit about uh, about how they do some of the work they do and they take apart some cool guitars and. There'll be lots more of that in the future. So that's all we got right now. Lil, you got anything to add here? I've been talking too much, I know. No, you know. I think that's just about right. Okay. Well, well, thanks for celebrating 45 years with us, and I hope that you'll celebrate another 45 with me. What? <laughs> I'm only 70. Okay, okay, maybe another 10 or 20 for me. <laughs> so, okay, we'll see you all, folks, and uh, you. take care. Thanks for stopping by.